Now I'll talk how you can partition the solid. The reason why one wants to partition the solid is to obtain a better solid mesh control. Uh, first, the uh, geometry display mode is set to mappable. To do this, I'm going to have to select here. And I'm going to select mappable. Uh, as you can see, the color of our solid is changed to this salmon pink. And to see what does it mean, I'm going to have to go to preferences and to colors. I'm going to click on geometry tab and under by mappable display mode solids, I can see that the salmon, uh, salmon pink color means not mappable. In order to, uh, to make it mappable, uh, I have to do the following. I'm going to go to geometry, edit, solids, and then trim pit lines. I'm going to use the uh, second option with boundary lines for this uh, case. First, I'm going to click on solids. When I click on solid, uh, you can notice that there's a blue line that appears. This means that uh, this is selected and now I can select uh, my solid from the display. So I click on solid. Then I click on lines. Now I'm going to rotate my solid because I want to see the other side. And I want to use this line as my trimming line. So now I just click on this line. The line now is white, which means everything is okay. And then finally I can click on trim. I can click on the turn now, and I'm going to fit the model. Now you can see that the part of our bracket is not anymore in this salmon pink, but it is in this kind of transparent, which means that now this part is mappable. To partition the rest, uh, in this, for this case, these uh, small triangles, I'm going to go again to Geometry, Edit, Solids, Trim with Lines, but I will use the third option with Sweep Lines. First, I'm going to click on Solids, I'm going to select my solid, then I'm going to select Lines, and I'll select these two lines. The Sweep 2. Uh, I'll select by vector and uh, I'm going to select y axis because I want to I want to uh, partition in the y direction. For the length, I am just putting seven, which is uh, more than than uh, what is this uh, thickness. So I'm just going to put, put press uh, trim. And as you can see now, this small triangle now is kind of transparent, which means it's mappable. Now I have to repeat the same steps for the second triangle. So I, I click on, on solids, I click on my solid, then I click on lines and I select these two lines. Now it's okay, everything stays the same and I class click on trim. I'm going to click on return and fit the model. And as you can see that almost everything is done. Uh, now to, to trim these two parts, I'm going to go to Geometry, Edit, Solids, but I'll use Trim with Plane or Surfaces. I'm going to use the second option with Surfaces. So my solids is, is selected because it has blue line around. So I can just uh, select my, my solid. Then I'm going to click, click on Surface. And then I'm going to select my surface because I want to cut using the surface. However, what you can see that uh, something happened and my solid uh, selection is disappeared. So I, I can click on solids again and reselect my solid. So it's in white color. Now everything looks okay. And I'm going to click on trim. In the left lower corner, you get a message trim done. And uh, this means it's, it's, good. it's done successfully. And also you can see that on, on your display that now almost everything is, uh, is transparent except this part. So I'm going to click return and I'm going to rotate this solid a little bit. And I'm going to press F5 and I'm going to select this component, this part of my solid with the left, uh, left click, left mouse click. And then I'm just going to press mask. I'm going to click on return. 
Now to trim this part, I'm going to go to Geometry, Edit, Solids, Trim with Lines. And I'll use the third option with Sweep Lines. So for solids, I'll select this solid. And for lines, I'm going to select these two lines. Again, something happened and my selections of the solid disappeared. So I have to click again on solids and I have to reselect my solid. So it's white. I'm going to keep sweep to my vector, but for the direction, I'm going to use the X axis because I want to, uh, to partition in X direction. Again, I can keep the, the length as seven and I'm going to press trim. Now in the lower left corner, I got a message trimming done. And from the display, you can see that almost every, that everything is uh, now transparent, which means everything is now mappable. I'm just going to click on return and I'm going to click on fit uh, the model and just check once more and everything seems to be okay.